Hi guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the art of cooking lean. So lean recipes typically would reference cups and cup measurements are standard, the same with um, tablespoons. So a standard cup is 250 ml. So typically when you see a cup, which is referenced in recipe is either 240 or 250 ml. And when a recipe calls for half cup, the half cup will be 125 or 120 ml. Cups will typically come in a set of one half, quarter, and a third cup. Also, measuring spoons are standard as well. One tablespoon is 15 ml, and this should, it should say that on the spoon. And one teaspoon is five ml. So one teaspoon is a third of one tablespoon, and you never want to mix those things up. Typically when I'm prepping, I like to have my things already portioned out. Uh, but today I'm going to show you guys how I prep and I'm going to be showing you guys the fried couscous recipe from the Lean Guide. So this recipe, uh, this couscous recipe calls for one and a half cups of couscous. So I'm going to show you guys. So here is one cup and then I'm going to add on the half cup as well. When you're measuring, you do not want to uh, pile it on. You don't want it shooting out of the cup you just want it leveled uh, in the cup this recipe also calls for half cup of onion and i'm using the same half cup that i used to measure the couscous and uh, to measure the half cup of onion the recipe calls for two cups of chopped bell peppers i've already measured those out so that's what i have in the bowl so you will be the 250 ml in two places. That's how I measured the two cups of chopped bell peppers. So here, I also want to show you guys uh, what I would typically do uh, if the recipe had called for measurement in weight. So we went through this process where the recipe called for cups, but assuming that the recipe had called for say 100 grams of onions instead of half cup of onions, then I will be using a food scale. There are different brands of food scale. This is the Cuisinart one that I have, and all you do is turn it on, um, you make sure it's zero, and then you just put what you want to measure on it. So you can never use cup to measure something that calls for weight and you can't use weight to measure something that calls for cup because it's okay, a volume uh, weight issue and it's, you, you can't really convert it. So if you're asking calls for cups, you use cups and if it calls for weight, you use a food scale to get the accurate weight. So this recipe also calls for two tablespoons of oil and I'll be using this tablespoon. Remember, a tablespoon is 15 ml. So if the recipe are called for two teaspoons, I will be using the, two, two, uh, the teaspoon and uh, a teaspoon is five ml while a tablespoon is 15 ml. You never want to mix up those two things, especially when you are um, measuring oil because the caloric difference can be very large. Now I'm going to walk you guys through the recipe. The recipe calls for one and a half cups of water and I'm just going to be using the exact, so it's the exact same thing. I'm using the cup that I used to measure the couscous to measure out the water. So at this point, the recipe says taste and adjust for seasoning. I, I know that I like my couscous spicy and I haven't added any pepper. So I'm going to go in and add some pepper in. I also know that I like a little bit of curry in my couscous. So I'm going to go in with um, a little bit of curry at this point. Okay guys, so most lean recipes or plants will tell you that you can season to taste. And you, or you can spice the taste. And this means that you can use the spices that you actually love in to, to cook with. Spices are good for you. They are often, you know, herbs and, and uh, they, they make food taste good. They are good. But just so we understand each other, crayfish is not a spice. 
Omero, beef stock is not a spice. Okoroko is not a spice. Ground fish, ground beef, those things are not spicy. Yes, they are flavor enhancers for your food, but they are not spices. When we're talking about spices, we're talking about things like smoked paprika, chipotle pepper, we're talking about uh, sea salt, we're talking about um, you know, herbs like rosemary, scent leaf, basil, those things, herbs and spices are the things that you can use in, you know, to spice up your food, not uh, stock fish and not crayfish and not ground beef, okay? So when I say season to taste or um, use the spices that you like, I mean spices, herbs and spices, not fish and condiments. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to mix everything in and my couscous is done. So I followed the recipe. I am, um, there we are. We're done with this recipe. Okay, so next to portioning. Uh, when you look at this recipe, the recipe says it has four servings. What is a serving? I get that question often. And there's no standard serving. Like for most things, serving, the, the serving would be, um, would be meal dependent, it would be calorie dependent, it would be macro dependent. So a serving um, is something that is assigned based on, you know, the, the person that developed the recipe is not something that is uh, typically like standard. So this recipe has like four servings and I would typically just try as much as I can to get four equal portions out of the meal uh, in order for me to get four servings. So I typically would just portion so put out four bowls, I just portion the food out into the four bowls. So now that you've divided your food into the number of servings, now we go to the calories. So this recipe says it has 326 calories per serving. So that means that each of these bowls, like each of the four, not the four combined, each of the four will have 326 calories in total. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I typically would portion our food. I do not cook different things for myself and for my husband or whatever. I cook the same meal for everybody, but I just um, portion it based on, you know, everybody's kind of calorie need. So, uh, for example, this week I would be giving my husband a full serving of the fried couscous. I would also be increasing the bulk and the fiber in the food by adding peas and carrots. So this peas and carrot, I typically will buy it frozen. It's a really, really good way to increase your veg and it has a like really low calorie point. So uh, one cup of it is around 120-ish or less calories. So I'm using that to bulk up the food. I will also be adding a piece of chicken, which is just uh, chicken thighs that I grilled earlier. And that, this bowl will be like a single portion for my husband and this will be around 600 and something ish calories okay so for myself i'm not going to be using the full uh serving of couscous i'm actually going to split you know the full serving in half so i'm going to use um half a serving for this bowl and half a serving for the other bowl and to actually increase my fiber intake as well and to increase my veg i'm going to be adding one full cup of peas and carrots this will help me bulk up you you know just to ensure that i am not hungry and then uh, for protein again i'm going to be adding the same uh portion of chicken to each bowl so the way that i have this portioned uh, my meal will be around you know 400 and some calories and my husband's will be around 600 and something calories so that's it guys this is how you lean prep or this is the art of lean uh, prepping have every single plan will have recipes it will tell you how much uh, food you're supposed to be cooking it will tell you the number of servings uh, it has and all you do is just cook for the recipe and you divide the meal based on you know the number of um, servings in the meal and then uh, with things like the lean guide so we have plans that are standard in that they tell you um, eat a b c and d and then we have plans like the link that you can kind of flex uh based on you know what you what you want to eat that we can kind of prep following them you know you can uh use different different parts of the recipes but yeah this is it it's easy it's just like you would any like you know you would if you're following any other recipe and the more you do it uh the the more proficient you you get at it all right guys thanks for watching happy prepping Bye for now.